Hey Adventure Junkies, Amanda here. Today I wanted to share with you three tips I have for choosing gaiters. Um, so quickly, gaiters are a great addition to any hiking wardrobe because they serve um, this awesome purpose um, of keeping debris out of your hiking boots. So whether that means snow, water, dirt, um, even small rocks. So here are a few tips uh, for choosing the right gaiters for you. Um, tip number one, choose the style of gaiter that's appropriate for your designated activity first and foremost. Um, so and generally there are hiking specific, mountaineering specific, and trail running specific gaiters on the market. Those are generally your three categories to choose from. Um, they also can cross, you know, serve multiple purposes as well depending on which you choose. Um, once you've picked out the style that's appropriate for you, you want to choose the height that's appropriate uh, for you. So they make gaiters that rise up uh, just above your ankle. Those are short gaiters and then um, medium height gaiters are going to go up about mid-calf and um, the tallest uh, kind that you'll find on the market are your knee-high gaiters. So um, choosing the gaiter height really depends on the activity that you'll be doing, the type of terrain you'll be traveling through, as well as the temperatures, because gators can add just a little bit of warmth as well. Um, and finally, then you're gonna want to decide uh, on the features that are appropriate for your designated activity. So different gators boast uh, features that include things like uh, waterproofing, um, abrasion resistance, and then types of closures. Some gators, especially knee-high types, come with um, a top closure. Uh, often gators uh, allow you to have a front opening that zips up or straps across, and that allows you to put uh, the gator on more easily. Um, there are also um, other features including instep straps, which connect the gaiter to your shoe. So deciding which kind of instep strap works well with your hiking boots is um, a good feature to consider. As well as, um, do you want you know abrasion resistance, which is typically a harder, less flexible material, or more of a soft shell type material gaiter, which offers a little bit more stretch and um, comfort wall wearing and finally do you, would you like your gaiters to include uh, lace hooks in the front which actually will connect the gaiter directly to um, your hiking boot uh, one of its eyelets um, so those are just a general overview of some of the features to consider and uh, briefly to recap a few tips i have for choosing gaiters first and foremost choose the style of gaiter that is most appropriate for you whether that be hiking specific mountaineering specific or trail running specific and note that often you know one type of gaiter can serve multiple purposes i just want to give you an idea of what is out there um, next you're going to encounter different gaiter heights so some that come up just above the ankle some that come up mid calf and some that rise up uh, to your knees so deciding which height is most appropriate for you um, will depend on the type of activity you're doing, the kind of terrain you're traveling across, as well as uh, the temperature outside. Um, and finally, um, decide on some of the features that you'd like to see uh, when choosing a gator that works for you. Uh, whether you prefer a top closure or a front opening, um, whether you need waterproofing or abrasion resistance, or maybe you prefer a soft shell, more stretchy, comfortable type uh, for, for moderate hiking. Um, also, a couple additional features include uh, lace hooks that actually attach the gaiter to one of your hiking boot eyelets, which can be really convenient depending on what you're doing. Um, and some gaiters even offer some like forms of insect uh, protection as well. So lots to choose from. Um, it's a great idea to jot down the features that you think are most important for you and kind of go from there. So thanks for watching. I'd love to hear any other tips you might have if you enjoyed one of these in particular um, or just any general feedback that you have um, in the comments below. So I hope you're having a great week. I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like connecting with other outdoor enthusiasts, you should definitely consider checking out Summit. 
Summit is a social network that brings together adventure junkies from all around the world to exchange stories, share advice, and inspire each other. You might even make some new friends too. It's kind of like Facebook for outdoorsy people, but with better privacy, no ads, no spam, and tons of extras. You can join Summit by going to summit.theadventurejunkies.com or by clicking the link in the description below. You can find me in Summit too, so be sure to say hi when you join.